Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, I just want to uh, let y'all know because I see people, you know, liking my post about uh, non-supporters. But here's the thing. You don't need non-supporters in your life. You need real supporters. You don't need fake supporters, you know. Uh, just like child support, you need real child support. And child support isn't just finances. Child support is actually being there, uh, being there when they need you the most. Coming, picking them up, spending time with them, you know, helping them with their homework, whatever it is, helping them with their craft, football, basketball, whatever it is. That's what real support is. The reason I related it to child support, because uh, like myself, you know, the support that, that I need. I'm not asking nobody for no finances, you know. I'm asking for everybody to just click a button on my YouTube channel, you know, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Knowledge the Raven 2468. And I'm bringing it up because I just had a conversation, you know, with my family. And y'all know me. I'm not ashamed to tell it. I, I don't care at this point. But it's like everybody is okay with, you know, the way things are. Instead of talking about it, instead of being about it, you know, figuring out what's the underlying issue of somebody's uh, frustration or anger or whatever you want to call it. They would rather, you know, oh, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, I don't want my stuff on social media. Well, I'm here to tell you, I don't care because I know that every family goes through this stuff. We all have families that we go through non-support systems. There may be something traumatic in your life. PTSD ain't just for um, people that's been in the service. P uh, PTSD is also people that's had life uh, experiences, trauma to the brain that's really affected them. And they need support because something mentally is going on up there. You know, somebody say you need deliverance and you need therapy, family therapy, your own therapy, whatever therapy you want to call it. This is my therapy when I actually get to talk about it. Like when I went to counseling and I talked to the counselors, they said, you know, what you should do is talk about it. Don't, because if you don't talk about it, if you don't speak about these things, if you don't say it, it's going to come out in anger and frustration and you may hurt somebody, if not hurt yourself. And then it'd be something that you're going to regret, you know. And for me, that happened. And it was something that I definitely regret. But now my therapy is actually, I get to talk about it. I get to express it. I get to express it on my social media platform. I get to express it, you know, when I talk to somebody that's even not, that's not even on my social media, just somebody that just randomly comes up and talks to me uh, in, in, in the street or uh, at somebody's house or somebody that's seen me on social media and be like, man, I know I haven't seen you around and blah, 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 this, that. I'm like, oh, man, for real? That's what's up. You know, it put a smile on my face. Like, man, I got to talk to you, man. Some of that stuff you be talking about is real. Well, he don't say some. He didn't say some of it. He said a lot of the stuff that you're talking about is like real, man. Like you keeping it a whole dollar. And I said, man, I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that support. You know, just keep on liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting on my YouTube channel. You know. They were like, is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, man, just like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel, you know. Uh, now, if somebody want to give a brother finances, I'm cool with that, too. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. I love it. But I'm just asking for you, to, the four or 5,000 or 4,000 some people I got on my social media right now, on my Facebook, all I've asked is, hey, can y'all hit that subscribe button, please? You know, like, comment, and share that that's, it's not that hard. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need the support of people that's not there. Like, if you got people on your friends list right now, and I'm talking to the three people that's on here, you got those people on there that do not comment, that do not say anything, that don't do nothing for you. What are they doing on your social media platform? Either you stalking them, or they stalking you, or they just watching from a distance, you know, but they don't comment. But I'm saying, like, you re you really need to reevaluate. All of us, we need to reevaluate re who we actually follow in life and who we actually support or who actually supports us and who actually follows us because 
those that really follow you and support you are going to be there. They're going to do whatever they can to push you in the direction that you need to go to keep you on the good foot, on the righteousness side, you know. And those that don't, delete them. It's not going to hurt nobody. So when they know they deleted, what they going to do? Oh, man, why you delete me? Oh, you noticed I deleted you? Well, I noticed that you ain't commenting, ain't said nothing, ain't liked nothing, ain't loved nothing, ain't subscribed to nothing on my platform. So why do I need to have you on there if you're not doing anything for me? I need people on there that's actually going to like, subscribe. What do you think social media is for? Followers. So if you're actually going to follow, I actually need you to be engaged. If you're not going to be engaged, then there's no place for you. And I still love you. I do. But I don't need you following me and then on my social media platform if you're not going to help out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just I wanted to go live about that and talk about it because I feel like this is something that we all can learn from. Support those who support you. Support those that's coming up in life that's actually trying to do something. Or not trying, that's actually doing something and are just asking for your support. Like really go through your friends list and see how many people you actually follow and who you keep up with. And if they're doing anything positive or doing anything for change, follow those and, and see if they follow you. But if you got a bunch of toxic people on there, bunch of people that ain't following you, a bunch of family, friends, whatever you want to call them, and they not supporting you, I'm here to tell you, delete them. You don't need that. You need support. We all need support. If you like this message, you enjoyed this message, you enjoyed the content, like, subscribe, and hit that share button. And let's do this. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.